Um, how do you deal with thickness on clothing in general? Do you extrude the whole piece of clothing and then UV it, or how would you approach it? Um, I guess I can do the cape really quickly, but if you want to watch that whole process, go to my uh, Marvelous Designer ZBrush, and we talk a little bit about that. But just a quick version of that, we can say, okay, I want to give this cape some thickness. So what I can do is I can duplicate this cape off and we're going to go to our zero measure. Uh, first I want to make sure these, again, we were talking about this earlier, I want to make sure these points are welded. So I'm going to go to geometry modify topology. There it is, weld points. And now I can go through here and use zero mesh. We're going to do, uh, how many poly, uh, let's just do half, adaptive size down a bit. We don't have any groups, so we'll just hit zero mesher. And if we have, if it was symmetrical, we could turn X on, but you can see it's not symmetrical. Clothing from Marvel Designer usually isn't. You could force it to be symmetrical, um, but in this case, I don't really need to do that. And I'm just going to hit half and zero mesh again. Just try, trying to get it down to a poly count that I want. There you go. I think that'll work. Um, so then if you wanted to, you could go through here. And instead of doing a Q mesh, I'm just going to do an extrude polygroup all. Uh, you might need to go in here and clean up some of this stuff in here. Like this is kind of freaking it out a little bit. You can manually go through here and help Z, um, hold on. Uh, do we turn on some settings here? Auto masking, that's why polygroup's down to zero. So you can go through here and you can manually help, um, looks like for some reason ZBrush really wanted to do something weird over here. So we're gonna go to collapse edge and we can collapse these edges in. That'll help. So any sort of weird stuff you can help zero measure out and then we can do another half. Much better. Uh, so now we're going to do is not do a Q mesh. We'll do an extrude polygroup ball or all polygons here and we'll go ahead and give this some thickness here and then we'll go ahead and do display properties flip. That's way down here at the bottom here. Display properties and you can flip those. Um, so now we have these and we got to get our detail back. Um, the detail on the inside you're not going to be able to snap to necessarily. You c Here's the other thing too. You could do thickness in Marvelous Designer. You can you can ex export thick uh, geometry. I like to control my thickness in ZBrush a little bit more, um, but I forgot to mention that you can add thickness to uh, Marvelous Designer Cloth. But in a pinch, or if you're just doing pants, uh, what you can do is we're gonna go ahead and do a crease here and then a crease polygroup. So as I subdivide this, you can see if I turn off solo, we're gonna have our original cape showing and our other cape here. So I'm gonna hit Control D and then we're gonna isolate this top part. We're gonna hit Project All, bring everything else back, Control D, Project all, bring everything else back. Control D, project all, bring everything else back. Control D and project all. So what I'm basically doing is projecting my detail back to my cape here and it's got thickness. And I also have subdivision history. So if I wanted to go back down here and make major changes, I can do that and then I can go back up here and get all my detail back. 